I've been doing cyanotype printing for several years now, and although I started out like most by using the sun to expose my prints, over the time I found a way better solution. One that I can use no matter the weather or time of day, giving me a reliable exposure every time. So, this is my cyanotype setup. The core of my setup and the device I use most often is my exposure box. On the lid of the box, I mounted these UV LED strips. These allow me to expose my prints no matter the weather or time of day, giving me a reliable exposure every time. If you want to build something like that yourself, I personally use UV LED strips with a wavelength between 395 to 400 nanometers containing 60 LEDs a meter. I just used scissors to cut them to the right length and then glued them onto the wooden board. Although I used a soldering iron to connect the individual strips, you can also just get these LED connectors and use those. Now, if you liked the video so far, maybe consider liking and subscribing. But let's continue with the box. As you can see, the box is not connected to the lid. This allows me to use the lid on its own, giving me more space and freedom in arranging my transparency. In this example, all the transparencies on the bottom would not fit in the box. But if I can, I do try to arrange everything inside the exposure box. That way, I don't need to worry about accidentally moving my transparencies during the exposure and on top of that I get some free eye protection. You might have realized at this point that I use a lot of other little doodads to improve my prints. Most important, two panes of glass and some weights. I use these to press the transparency against the coated paper. You could also use a contact printing frame or some standard picture frame to achieve similar results. The weights are necessary because the light of the LED strips is very soft, meaning if there is a gap between the transparency and the coated paper, the print is not going to be sharp. If you want to do cyanotype printing using bigger objects though, you might need a different solution. And I covered that in this video. But in most cases, this is the best cyanotype setup. If you now want to know how to use this setup to create cyanotype prints on your own, you can watch my video about cyanotype basics. And that's it. If you're looking for some more inspiration, you can watch the videos on screen now. Until then, see you next video.